Good morning. How are we doing today? Good morning. Yeah, nice to be with you. All right. Wonderful. Thank you for your time today. Jody. I'm going to start with you. What is it like for you to see, you know, this particular story that you both worked on for quite some time now uh, making its way to the big screen? What What is your feeling? Oh, we're flabbergasted. I mean, remember, we started out investigating a Hollywood producer, so we're still a little confused about how <laughs> likenesses of ourselves ended up on the big screen. But, you know, I think that's part of the power of this project. It takes the Weinstein story and it returns it to his medium. And, you know, it's a tribute to the power of the truth. I think that part of what the film shows you is sort of the inspiration of how a few very vulnerable women made these brave decisions to help us. They didn't know what would happen as a result, and they ended up having immense worldwide impact. Megan, what was the, and I know this is a broad question, but what was the wow moment that you remember as you both were working on this where you said, my gosh, what is going on? Mm. Right. So this, uh, J Jody started the investigation. I was home on maternity leave and the movie accurately depicts some, <coughs> excuse me, some skeptic skepticism that I had when I came back from maternity leave and was considering whether or not to join her on this project. You know, she had started to hear some hush stories of some of these famous actresses, but it wasn't clear what the scope of this powerful producer's behavior was, how far it stretched um, exactly what to what extent he had done damage to these women. And so there was a moment when, after I decided to join her on the story, on in the reporting, where I drove out to the home of a woman who had worked for Weinstein uh, in her early 20s, right out of college. And we had heard that something bad might have happened to her. And I had been trying to track her down. She wasn't responding. So I went to the home of a family member with a note I was going to deliver explaining who we were and what we were doing. And when the door opened, it was actually the woman herself. And she said, I can't believe you found me. Uh, I've been waiting for this knock on my door for 25 years. And uh, so that, I think, for, a mo for me was the moment where I thought, oh, my goodness, this story is so much bigger than I even thought when I first came in. We're not just talking about actresses. We're talking about women who worked for Weinstein and his companies. And the fact is that like so many other women, this, this particular person had been silenced through a secret settlement. So we were also looking at a trail of payouts that had been made to silence his victims over the years. And for me, that was the moment where I realized, oh my goodness, we've got to be able to execute this story. If not, this this predator is going to go on to hurt more people. Jody, what are you most proud of now that it's, it's, you know, people are going to see this film, by the way, thanks for everything you both have done. Serious needs to be told. The story needs to be told. The film needs to be seen, but what are you most proud of now that it's, it's, it's out there? Uh, that's a great question. And I, you know, it's an interesting, challenging question because really in our world, we're always trying to shine a light you know, on other people, and we try not to make it about us, us, us. Um, I am so grateful and proud for so many things. I'll, I'll do a quick lightning round of a few. I am, we, I'm gonna answer collectively because I think I can speak for both of us. We are proud that the world is gonna get to know women like Laura Madden and Zelda Perkins and Rowena Chu who were essentially thrown out with the trash by Hollywood and by Weinstein when they were his assistants. They have been returned to the screen, I think with a dignity they were never given in on the first round. Um, we are incredibly proud that the film and our book are titled She Said, mm -hmm. and it's about storytelling from a female perspective and what happens when you really listen to women. Um, we're incredibly proud of the portrayal of journalists. You know, on screen, journalists are, are often shown as manipulative or doing it for <laughs> the wrong reason or having insincere motives. And I think this film showcases, showcases the desire to do true public service that we feel, but that journalists around the country and around the world feel as well. Um, and I guess the last thing I'd say on a more personal note is that 
I'm so proud that this film showcases our partnership because it's pretty rare at the movies still to see a film that's about two professional women where the action is not about like their love life and it's not about their children. It's about like a kind of intellectual and professional pursuit. The other day, Zoe Kazan mm -hmm. and I tried to make a list of <clears throat> movies like that. And I think we came up with hidden figures, but there, there really aren't that many. And so I hope that when people see this movie and they see these women just like working hard to do the right thing, they, they see themselves in that as well. I'm a mama's boy, so I love that answer. Uh, and I love what you both have done. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, I really appreciate the conversation. Stay safe. Yeah, thank Thanks you. So much. Take care. Bye.